one on this particular CM, there's one more verse okay. that is very, very important. I think it's in, no, 33, yeah, 33, 35, sorry. Okay. 33, 35, okay. Yeah. Oh, yes. It's, um... Now, if you look at the attributes of these individuals, how does an individual with the attribute of fasting fit in? Another good point, yes. So think about it. Say you have a room. So in mm. this room, you have surrendering men, surrendering women, believing men, believing women, obedient men, obedient women, truthful men and truthful women, steadfast men and steadfast women, reverend men and reverend women, men who give to charity and women who give to charity. And the men who guard their chastity and the women who guard their chastity. And the men commemorating God much frequently and the women commemorating God much frequently. Mm. In, that, in that room, would you fit in someone who has the attribute of men and women who fast? Yes, you're right. Will they fit in that room? Uh no. The poor people should be there if the fasting huh? is <laughs> Exactly. You might as well just say you might as well just say believing men, believing women, truthful men, truthful women, and poor men and poor women. Mm. <laughs> it's just it's the same thing. It doesn't fit. Mm. Like what Hina says. I mean, if somebody, for example, from a very, very poor country, they don't eat that much. Yeah, they don't, they drink that much. You cannot yeah. include those people in this group. Yeah, and there's no that's not the guarantee of being, you know, taqwa, of attaining taqwa. Exactly. Exactly. It's a very and, good, and then there's the alternative. The alternative is someone who basically rehabilitates with the Quran when they go astray. Yes. Right. Now think about it now. If you have surrendering men, surrendering women, believing men, believing women, obedient men obedient women, truthful men, truthful women, you can have men and women who, when they go astray, rehabilitate with the word of their maker. Hmm. That's well, a quality. Another, another thing came out of you, my you mind. Could say, you could say repenting. Yeah, might as well say repenting men and repenting women. It's the same thing. Hmm. Brother, another because thing that's why they rehabilitate with the Jeez, Quran. That's why you, know, you know what? I was thinking about some, like people in the West, they died too much, you know? Yes. They exercise and diet. Yep. For example, in this group, somebody says, oh, okay. I go to work in the morning. From morning to evening, I don't eat. So I, you have to put me in that group. Because oh, 100%. 100%. <laughs> there are plenty of people who person. don't eat throughout the day. They only eat at right. night. A, yeah, he don't eat. I, I want the part of this group. Include me uh, in that group. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, this is... This is very, you know, good point. This is a uh, good point. Being, being hungry point. and, you know, like doing fasting has nothing to do with this group. No, like, exactly. Like, that's what I'm saying. Hmm. I am the person who do jogging, exercise from morning, hmm. go to work. I don't eat anything and come back home and then I eat. I want the part of this group. You're going to include yeah. me on this group? You would have to if, if, if people want to continue that translation. If you, if you agree with the argument on the other side, yeah. that eating and drinking fast, you know, yeah. then you have to include those folks. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. There's no way very, around that. Very good point, brother. This very good is very point. Yeah. God is not bothered by traditions in the Quran. He's not yeah. bothered by that at all. Hmm. 